Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And today I'm at Mickey's Athletic in Mexper, Doncaster. And I'm going to have a chat with Mr. Josh Whale, the current IBO international champion. How are you doing Josh? Well, well, not say who you've just sparred Josh, because uh, we don't want people to know, but Good session that one, eh? Yeah, that, they always train that hard. Proper sparring partners on yeah. top now. Um, every every training session we have, it's always uh, top plan and you know what we're doing. So how's your camp going? All right? Yeah, all good, pal. I'm, uh, I'm training hard. I'm doing everything what my dad wants me to do. So um, yeah, we're happy. Mm, you've seen me happy, buddy. Fast. Yeah. You, you've got a bit of you. It's, uh, you know, I've been a professional 13 years now, so if you can't enjoy it now, you'll never enjoy it. How are you coping, Josh? We're getting pulled about all over the place and that now, because I know you're, a bit, you're like a bit of a celebrity in Barnes and that, but how are you coping with more demands and that on your career now, because now you've got to see you've won another belt in another division? Yeah, it's hard. I mean, um, obviously, I, I run my boxing club at night. Yeah. I, I work with disengaged school kids during the day. Um, and obviously I train twice a day around that yeah. and I've got three young three young babies at home so yeah, it's pretty you're, active you're life, busy like, yeah, yeah it's all busy uh, but I've got a supportive wife and family yeah. and you know boxing's what we do so yeah we all pull together and, and get it done for. yeah you're, you're a pretty tight knit group aren't you your family because yeah. obviously you've got two brothers yeah. Bob Gwyn were a professional fighter yeah. one uh, Dempsey's a professional yeah uh, and you're, you're a professional, your dad's a big fought in Armour, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, so obviously. We've all, we've, all, we've all followed on from my dad. I mean, my dad's mm -hmm. head of family, he, he set us off, really. He took, yeah. he took me and Gwyn boxing, uh, like you say, and Gwyn won national titles. He, he was my hero, Gwyn, growing up. I mean, he was, mm -hmm. uh, he was like a man at 13, 14, knocking people out. He was, uh, he was a phenomenal fighter. Mm -hmm. um, and my younger brother Dempsey, he's a professional now, he's two and all, so yeah, like, it's, a, it's a family thing. And it's Mickey's Athletic, where I run in my dad's name. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously the gym now, from, from when I first came in here, he, first time I think I ever came in here, I saw a town and sparring tied on the nurse, and it didn't look, didn't look like this then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's put some time and effort gone into it, hasn't there? Yeah, it's, it's a cracking gym. It's, um, it's chocker now, isn't it? Yeah, it's chocker. We've put, Probably can't take any more members on. It's that it's that busy. Uh, yeah. We're we're really busy. We have the classes. Um, you know, it, this this boxing. What I do, I mean, in some form, I'll be doing it for the rest of my life. That, that, that's yeah. what I love doing. So um, yeah, brilliant. Now this, this opponent that you're fighting, Josh. Is it, all I know about him is got he's had 15 fights. He's lost two. He's a bit of a puncher as well. He's stopped half of money off his wins, or more than half. He's stopped seven out of 12 wins. Mm -hmm. uh, what do we know about him, Josh? Not much, to be honest, because um, earlier on in my professional career, I used to I used to look and I used to think about this, and you know, it work, won't working for me. Uh, now, basically, my dad watches him. He, he'll say what I have to do. Uh, we'll have one. We'll have one look together when the fight gets announced. And probably weakest fight we'll have a look again, and he'll tell me. But uh, you know, I know he's tall, uh, southpaw. Uh, my, my last, my last kid was southpaw as well, so I've seen to be queuing up with southpaws. But <laughs> one, one thing I, I, I do know throughout my career is you can't take the eye off ball. You know, yeah. my last opponent was 28 and one. Uh, for the formidable opponent, you know, he was really strong. Knockout puncher. So uh, if I'd have took my eye off ball with that, you know, you could have come and stop. There's no slip ups now at this stage in the career. I'm this close, so you know, yeah. there's no slip ups. Uh, I've noticed, Josh, and I'm not the only one, that in your past fights you tend to throw a lot more punches than than what you throw now. Is, is it because you're getting older and wiser and you're more you, you, you're waiting for uh, and not rushing you in, or is it because you were always a way fighter? I don't. We, um, I don't know. I, I suppose styles make fights. Um, I think more as a featherweight, um, you know, I'm hitting him and hurting him. So, you know, you've got, you know, you know, a bantamweight, they're a lot more nippier, yeah. uh, quicker. You mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Nippier running around the ring. Um, you know, it's no secret. My biggest strength is my strength. So, yeah. uh, at this weight, you know, 
paid, paid dividends. Fairly yeah. strong at this point. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's the strongest I've ever been. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, people think as you go up in weight, you're gonna you're gonna lose a bit of what yeah. you've got, but um, it, it's not. You probably you probably add to it. Uh, a lot of professionals, fighters, they drag themselves to the lowest possible point. I don't think it helps them come by mm-hmm. night. It might do uh, for short term, but I don't. I don't think it does long term. But you know, that's, yeah. Yeah, but what you just said there might be right because Canelo went the distance with Matthew Atten, didn't he, at a low weight, yeah. and now he, and at this stage of the game, now he's stopping like anyway. It's any world champions, and do you think people should just fight at what's natural to them, Josh? Yeah, um, you know, it becomes dangerous sometimes. We uh, we, we, we fighters coming to a to weight that's not not normal for. Them. I think uh, UFC, UFC has done it to a certain extent. Now it's coming more into professional boxing with the drag that sends down to the lowest possible weight. But um, you know, you've got to find the weight that you're comfortable with. You can perform it. You know, obviously, you've got your uh, you got your day before weight, so you've got to get a, a good reidation weight of what, what you kind of want, want to do. Do you feel that? Uh you're coming into your own now, Josh, and that you've got all this experience, you're finding out the right weight, you, you're working with people that you're happy with, you, you feel like this role that you're on now, do you think that it's probably the best period of your career? Um, my last fight will be the best win in my career, there's, yeah. there's no idea in that. Um, it was a great, cracking fight all the way through, from first round to tenth round. Um, I did stop throwing out, I, I, I proved a lot of people um, wrong. wrong. What, what I could do, you know, there's there's no lacking in here. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, do you want a favourite way of doing that? That's no, fine, no, no lacking in there. And uh, you know, 31 year old career, I've had few people might have been thinking, oh, I don't know, but me and my dad believe, yourself believed, and yeah, yeah, you know, uh, yeah. you've always, you know, you've always believed in the past, so I've yeah. you, you know, that's that. And uh, teamwork, <laughs> you know, me and my dad knew what we were capable of, and. Uh, when that, when that, when my dad said to me, went down to my dad's house and said, "Look, you're boxing this guy and champion, show me records, and we'll see what's left now." And mm. that's it. Because I thought, after speaking to Dennis, and he didn't tell me what your dad said, I thought that would have been round about Christmas this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, this year. Yeah. And obviously, it were a bit, a bit of a rolling dice, wasn't it, basically? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that 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 fight, like you said, probably could have been uh, later on this year. Yeah, right? yeah, it could have been. Um, but we were, we, were, we were going so quick, we had to have a fight like that. Mm. Uh, I blew a lot of the kid away, I had a good victory against that show of your I'll there and, you know, I've never turned the fight down. So mm. when, when my dad fought, we were and he said, look, let's go for it. So we did and we got belt. Right. Uh, the opponents, uh, not, when people do interviews with fighters, we don't get to hear about what opponents they went for now. Can we just speak about who were in line to fight him? Because uh, we, we always speak about this, aren't we? Yeah. The French kid, who yeah. Warrington fought. Now, a lot of people might not think that Dennis wanted to make that fight, but it, well, I know it was true, we do, that they agreed a fee to fight. They weren't going to say how much it were. It were massive money, won it for them. And they've knocked it back, haven't they? Yeah, I mean, Dennis worked uh, really hard for the last four or five weeks. It were, mm. you know, it were ongoing. Uh, he offered him really good money and he tried to get it for some kind of like uh, World title eliminator or yeah. a, a, or IBF. Yeah, yeah. IBF or, or, a, 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 or an international yeah. IBF title. Yeah. Uh, things were negotiating really well. Then, uh, well, you mentioned it on radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's it, how well, close it was. It was ninety-five percent done, and yeah. uh, they agreed to it. Then, at last minute, uh, they, devan- they demanded something else on top of it. Uh, basically, just saying. You know, they didn't want it, so... Got them more money, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's what it all boils down to me. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Dennis is really, he's really backing it, you know. Mm, yeah. He's, 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 you know, he's just not, he's one of them will just tell you something. If he mm. tells you something, it's going to happen. Yeah. Uh, and he told me that what he offered him, and he, you know, he, he did everything possible to make faith, but, you know, it was to be this time, but, uh, you know, with this close, I've got to mm-hmm. keep winning, keep falling. Yeah, and it might come off another time, yeah. yeah. So basically, I, don't, I personally don't think he wanted to fight you because Frank Warren always says there's two things that they could, when they don't want to fight you. They ask for more money yeah. or they just say they're injured and they just don't want to fight. Yeah. And I think he didn't want to fight you, did Yeah, he? yeah. I, I think 
realistically, he didn't. I mean, I don't like to disrespect him yeah, or whatever, yeah. but uh, he meant not not particularly him. His team messed us about for four or five weeks, and we, uh, you know, we had to, we had to, you know, not worry. Do you think some of were going on behind the scenes, whereas they were dragging it out? Because it just seemed to be going on and on and on, and we were we all saying, "What's going on here?" You yeah. know, nobody knew what if it was going to happen or. Do you think it were done to like try and derail you because you're on a roll? Do you think behind the scenes? No, personally, I, I think he's he's accepted. Obviously, with good money, yeah. he's got himself back into the gym. He's started ticking over. Probably same thing what like me and my dad do. We had a lot of his coach. I, I, I just don't think the fans are coming back to England again, and you know mm. they'll probably box in France and he'll, he'll probably get another shot at somewhere else. Yeah. Alright then, well, moving on from that then, we've got this kid who you're going to fight now. The deal with him, you're 4 and out here, in under a year from you, from the defeat against Brad Foster. Yeah. What next, Josh, for you after next? Are we just going to get this fight out of the way first, then sit down? Yeah, yeah, we'll get this fight out of the way, then we'll, we'll all sit down like we're doing. Yeah. Uh, thinking, but, you know, it's no secret, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm chasing big, big titles. I'm, yeah. I, you know, I've, I've done everything else. Mm. I've been essentially every English, British. I go international, you know, I want a big face, you know. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm knocking on with IBO now, so, you know, I want a world title fight. Yeah. Why end it here? That's what we want. There's no point, you know, fairing about and, yeah. you know, we want yeah. to push us then. Yeah, well, that's brilliant. Well, listen, sorry to bother you in your camp. Yeah, well, You've trained hard yeah. today. Uh, all right, well, thanks very much for everybody that's watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And shout out to Innovation Alloys, South Yorkshire Packaging UK Limited. Thank you very much.